<laughs> For God's <South> sake. <laughs> well, the music stopped, so now Lisa sat down. <laughs> I got a chair. Welcome, and Nice to meet you, nice to meet TV you, lady. You Sacramento too. Kings dancer, news lady on Channel 13 <laughs> on Good Day Sacramento. You do everything. Good morning. Just like you. A little bit of everything. I've never been a Kings dancer. Oh. I mean, you I taught me say, there. I was going to say, there's still time, but wait. Oh, that's Maybe right. Not. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, nice to meet you, Lisa. Nice to meet you, too. And hi, gang. How are you? Oh, let's get to my emails, why okay. don't we? Let's do it. I think I've finally figured the system out where the emails that I want to read actually show up on the computer. Perfect. Here's one from Steve in El Dorado Hills. Message, I just realized I can get good day on HDTV. It's amazing how much more beautiful Marianne is and how much more hideous you are. Uh, how about doing oh. a segment with a good day bag over your head? That's not nice. Okay, thank you, my friend. Let me slide over the next one, and this is... From Bruce in Roseville, Don, please continue your discussion about the best local burger. Five Guys is great, but don't you inhale Carl's Jr. or do you love Jack in the Box? Ooh, and I just the, had a double-double yesterday. The compliments just keep coming for me. Um, as someone who lived on the East Coast, whenever I would go to Los Angeles, I would stop at Carl's Jr. at LAX first thing. But now that I live here, I've got to say... I don't know. I'm stuck between Five Guys and Jack of the Box is my favorite. What are your favorite burgers? Uh, I'm an in and out guy. You know? So when your wife lets <laughs> yeah. you eat meat. Yeah. His wife's a vegetarian, so when oh, your wife really? lets you eat meat. Yeah. Right. So I'm like a puma now. I'm like, ooh, was that meat? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, what Undoubtedly, what five guys. Ever since I went there for the first time, I, I am I mean the meat was so succulent and moist, it was to die for. Where are we? This is the meat was I loved it. And just yesterday I went to In N Out for the first time since I'd been to Five Guys. Not quite the same. Hard anymore. to compare. I had isn't a it? double double and it just I didn't taste the juice, the succulents didn't taste it. No. Gotta love the five guys. And here's one more for you. This is from Dano and Elk Grove. Elk Grove, it's too bad Nick isn't here because it says, ask Nick Toma about his golfing prowess. Years ago I played <clears throat> excuse me, gang, in the Grant Napier Celebrity Golf Tournament and Rancho what is that? How do you pronounce that? Rancho Marietta, that's where Thank my mom you. lives. Waiting on the tee for our celebrity to join our group we look down the cart path and here comes some guy named Nick who had with him a golf bag that said rental on it and he was wearing hush puppy shoes he stayed around for a few holes hit a few worm burners and was never to be seen again Nick Toma golfer not so much yeah. Marianne's the golfer Marianne is, she really? is the yeah. golfer yes actually she's gonna be going out to Rancho Marietta and golfing with my mom sometime soon so yeah she's the golfer awesome man I'm not even gonna make a joke about the ball washer <laughs> the golf ball washer. <laughs> you gotta do it yourself out there. Ranch Marietta, they have a little thing and you put it in there. Yes. Wash your own balls. Yeah. You said it on the... Oh, look at... Did they put Marianne in my picture now? Is that awesome? Who are the people behind my door now in my mailbag? I mean, can I even that's Charlie see? Sheen well, that's Charlie Sheen, Sheen yeah. and yeah, he's working that on was a movie. the party he had. His goddesses. And those are my goddesses. Thank you. And I you. believe those are really Marianne's <laughs> legs. The girl has got some nice legs. Hey, now I'll see her on the golf course. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. listen, you can send me an email anytime. That's Don G at Good Day Sacramento, or just go to my page on the Good Day Sacramento site. Like get those emails and thank you, gang. Well, he is quite the jet setter these days, and today it's no exception. Marcus Allen joins us live from Los Angeles. Hey, Mark. What's up, Cody? Good morning, Lisa. Hi, Don. Hi. How are you guys? Hi, Mark. Hi, honey. Morning. I, uh, hey, Tina. I have to tell you guys a, a true story. I missed my flight to L.A. yesterday, causing me all, all kinds of trouble and issues and uh, missed opportunities. Want to know why? Why? I was stuck in my car listening to Don Geronimo grill Toma. <laughs> Very well done. I don't think it was a grilling. I think it was more of a rotisserie. <laughs> I, uh, I pulled over. I thought, oh, I, I'm going to get, I need to get gas. I'm going to run out of gas before I get to the airport and things will be even worse. So I pull over to get gas and then I turn on the radio and notice that Toma's on there. And then I realize I've sat at the gas station for a half hour waiting for this thing to play out. Oh, well, thank you, Mark. You know, in radio, that's the highest compliment you can get. And I do appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. Uh, I took some notes, my, my favorite part, and these are just keywords because I can't dare go near the content, but near the part where Nick Toma admitted to being a late bloomer. That was my favorite section <laughs> he was of 19. the Don Geronimo interview. He was 19 when he was deflowered. Yes, we found that out yesterday. Well, and then some, but we'll talk about that later on. Hey, movies this weekend, and it's Sacramento Beer Week, so uh, do you guys want to discuss which movies go best with beer? Great. What? This weekend's opportunities. <laughs> you, well, 
In my world, maybe so. But most people <laughs> you probably don't want to go see a kid movie, Rango, on beer. Uh, you want to appreciate Johnny Depp on a clear head uh, in that movie anyway. At least not beer-oriented. Uh, Twilight meets Beauty and the Beast. That's this movie, Beastly, probably for the tween set. No beer there. Adjustment Bureau, this is like a ghetto poor man's inception with Matt Damon. If you have beer before you go see that, I guarantee you you're going to fall asleep, which leaves us pretty much only take me home tonight. Don Geronimo, as much as you love the 80s and as much as you nail name teens tune every time. In fact, Cody, I think you're kind of a kid of the 80s and while yeah, we're at it, I think... So you kind of grew up in the 80s, too. I did. And Tina, you did radio in the 80s. So you guys are going to love the soundtrack. Take me home tonight, my pick for you. I'm done. That's all I've got. Yeah, that one looks really good. It looks really good. It's, it's, it's like not a... great. It doesn't suck as bad as Hot Tub Time Machine, uh -huh. but <laughs> you can imagine <laughs> Fast Times Fast Times at Ridgemont High meets The Graduate, and that's this movie. Oh, oh that's perfect. The, that's a pretty good review. I that sounds amazing. That. Yeah, that yeah, thank review. you, Mark. Right. Little raunchy John Hughes is what they're saying, too. You know? Fast Times was one of my favorite movies back in the day. All right. Thank you, Mark. Good seeing you. You got it. And, and Lisa, ask your mom about The Graduate, which she'll fill you in. <laughs> Your the graduate, graduate is an older movie. I, I heard all I heard him say though was it was something I hit. Ask your mom about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about plastic. I think she, he was also going to give that. At least it's my did, but I'll talk about that next hour. <laughs> okay. My mom and Mark used to hang out back in the day. Oh, did they really? As friends, yes. Hey, it is okay. a bird. It's a plane. No, it is Courtney Dempsey, new at H. She's flying high through the skies, an aerial dancer. And talk.